Hello everybody, this is Gamer0Z1, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Android. And, well, the first thing you should actually go to is Etcher, and download this program. After you do that, go here, either download one of these files right here, so you can get like 16 gigabytes, 32, 64, 128, depending on your SD card. You're also going to need this. This will allow you to have all the shield, well, not all the shield games, you mean, I mean, you'll be able to actually see them in the Play Store and buy them and download them and play them. And also it gives you access to NVIDIA games, which will allow you to use uh, GeForce Now, which will allow you to stream your games to your Nintendo Switch. And you can either download them from Torrent or Direct, which you definitely need this. And then after that, you're also going to want to go here. This is where you're going to get uh, your Play Store. This is pretty much all the Google apps. This version, this version, and stock. This will have everything in Google, including YouTube, will be installed. And from there, you go to actually installing it here. I have all, all the files in one folder. I also got the 32 and 128, which I'm using the 128 today. And here we go. Open up Etcher. Give it a second. Sometimes it takes a second to just load up. Which I already had it open and didn't realize at the bottom. Select. Go where you have your folder. 128 version which do not extract it when you uh, download it. It should just work. Now click select, choose your SD card. Do not choose anything you don't want to flash accidentally. 128, continue, flash. And then you just click continue, click yes. And this is going to take a bit for me, so I will skip most of this for you. I'll let you watch the end when it's pretty much almost done. Okay. Supposedly you're not you don't have to wait until it's done validating that. So I just told it to stop. So it should be pretty much done. So you can close that. And now the only thing you need to do is grab this file and this file. I'm just gonna copy it. I don't want to delete them yet. And now you should have access to your SD card that's right here. The, it flashed correctly, and you'll get this. And you just put those files in here. And then after this is done copying, I'm moving over to my Nintendo Switch to show you the rest. Almost done. And the validation process, you don't have to really wait for, but I technically recommend you should. I just got sick of waiting. I kind of waited about two hours. So that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. But you might not have to wait that long. Depending on the size of your SD card and the read and write speed, it might not take you anywhere near that long. Maybe an hour at most, depending on the size of file you use, or well, 
besides a USD card. But, all right, um, I'm moving over to my Nintendo Switch, and I will be getting back to you in just a bit. Hello, everybody, I'm back. Um, all right, so now put your uh, Nintendo Switch into RCM mode and uh, load up your payload, and then click Launch. Then go here to More. You'll see Android. You open it, and then hold the volume up button, and, and it'll enter recovery mode. You just have to hold it, and I'll tell you when to stop. See when it flashes like that, it's about to enter uh, recovery mode here. And then you go to install. And now you have to go to, give me one second here, up. Now you see where it says external SD? Go to external SD. Ah, oh, man, I didn't click it. Give me one second. I keep not clicking it. It's sometimes hard to just hit where you want to go. But now what you have to do is install the shield filter first. Swipe that. And now it's installed that. Now go back. Now you install G apps. This will take a second. Sometimes it'll take a second to open up and then it'll take a, a little bit to install. You just swipe. And then it'll start installing all the G apps you need, as you can see. This just takes a little bit. And then after this, it's going to ask you to reboot, which, because I have RCM mode, I don't know if it'll actually reboot into Android, but because I'm in, like, uh, I'm in auto RCM mode, that's what they call it, my system uh, has to, uh, it won't turn on, back on, unless I resend a payload to it. So, once this is done, I have to resend the payload to it, and from there... Yeah. So, I'm going to... Well, I guess I'll just show you this entire part here. Well, hmm. I don't know. This is going to take a bit. Alright, I'm just going to pause it and I'll be right back once it's actually done installing all this. And, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, it is done. And this option right here is reboot. You just click reboot after doing all that it'll shut off and I have to reinsert the payload which I don't know if it'll uh, just stop this video or not I guess I'll actually I'm gonna pause it and uh, hopefully I don't have to restart another video okay it did make me have to do uh, <laughs> another video I have to edit it in all right now let's go to Launch payload here. Android. Now this will take a little bit. Every time you uh, freshly install Android on something, or, well, just booting up Android, period, freshly, takes forever. So I may pause this to, just to, you know, save time. So, yeah. This is just going to take a little bit. Shouldn't take that long. As you can see, it hasn't even gotten to the... Now, there we go, actually. Now it's booting. As you can see, this is just going to take a little bit, so I'll get back to you as soon as it's at the, the setup menu. Okay, I am back. And as you can see, I have this uh, little error that popped up here. You tell it to wait, because it's not really anything that matters. They'll fix that eventually. Then just click Start. Well, sometimes it, I guess it just, yeah, this can take a second sometimes, I guess. I'm going to pause it again, or, or maybe not. Now it's searching for Wi-Fi. Let me uh, do this, and I'll be right back. It's checking for updates right now, which there are not going to be any updates, but it is. So this will take a second to get done, and... 
then you'll get the normal uh, questions where it'll ask you what type of information you want to allow to send to Google and stuff. And also, I have to enter my account for uh, Google. So, actually, I'm going to pause this for right now and uh, I'll get back to you once I'm in, in the actual home screen. Okay, I am in the home menu now, as you can see. Now, what you really, what you need to really do is open up the Play Store. Play Store, please, come on. Play Store. Thank you. Now, go to search. Now, you're going to want to type in NVIDIA. Click it. Come on. Now, it'll take you here once this page opens. And you see where it says update? Click it. See, uh, the NVIDIA Games app will not allow you to do anything until you actually update the actual app. So you just click update. Give it a second here. Come on, please. There we go. And also, depending on your SD card, is how depending on how fast this is going to be. Annoyingly slow right now, but... It always is when you do a fresh install. And I think it's installing more than just one app. So I'll be right back once that actually installs. Okay. It's now downloaded the update and it's installing it now. But sometimes you actually have to turn off your Wi-Fi. So you just drag down right here. Or, well, actually, you can drag down anywhere. And then you just click the Wi-Fi and let it turn off for a second and then turn it right back on. And what you're downloading, usually it'll just start downloading fast. But, yeah, that's what I just had to do. But now open it, right? I'm going to show you. Uh, all right, it's going to give me an error when I want to try to play uh, a game here. It's also going to ask me for my account, I believe, for NVIDIA soon. I think on the right option here on games so you just wait here and I'm gonna pause it again because there's a lot of waiting but I'll be back now that that's loaded now these these are games you buy right here you can play the ones that say included or free let's click on some Tomb Raider here and you're gonna need a controller for any game you choose so just make sure you connect a controller through the Bluetooth settings. And I may show that to you in just a bit. Sorry about that. Alright, now click play. Now this should give me an error. It's, it usually does. I haven't done, you know, the other setup yet. Well, actually, give me a second. I have to log in. And I'll be right back. It's making me have to edit in a whole bunch of videos, but let's try this again here. Once it wants to launch that. Come on. Play. Now, it should give me, like, an error or something. See, it's asking me to have a controller... And then it's going to check for your Wi-Fi and all that stuff. And uh, this can take a second, but once that's done, either it's going to let me play, which I think it is. I think it's just going to play. I used to get, like, an error, and I might still get the error, even with this happening. But I think it's just going to start. But we'll see. Here we go. Launching. Because the last time, like like I've said in previous videos, it gave me an error like when I was trying to play any of these NVIDIA games. Like, I couldn't stream nothing. Give me one second here. You have to allow recording. Oh, there it is. Error code. There it is. I told you guys. Now, 
Now it's time for me to show you how to fix that. Now go into settings, which is up here after you scroll down. Just click the little gear. That should be opening. Thank you. Give that a second. Now, oh, this is also where you connect the Bluetooth to go to connections, and Bluetooth is right here. But what we need to do real quick here is go to battery. And you click on uh, battery, saver, and performance. Right there. Open up, please. And now you're in, you're going to be in balance when you first get into this. Just make sure it goes all the way to performance. Now after that, it should work. You should be able to load up the game immediately. After I can get it to go back. Touch is really annoying on this. And especially when you're looking through a phone and yeah. Continue. All right, this is just getting annoying here, sorry. Play. Continue. There we go. It should work this time. Like, that's what I did on my last uh, install of Android on the Nintendo Switch. Is, uh, I literally just boosted the performance and, uh, after I did that, the game just loaded. So, okay. Troubleshoot here. Let's see what's going on. I'll be right back and I'll figure it out and I'll tell you if uh, what's going on. Be right back. Well, I don't know what's going on. I've, I've tried pretty much everything. The last time uh, it wasn't working, I literally just went to performance mode and it did. But... I bet it'll just randomly work eventually. Um, I have no idea. I bet if I insert, insert the uh, other SD card and load this up, I'm willing to bet it'll just boot right into a game. But I have no idea. I even got to have to change the message, it was the error message too. I'll let you see it here real quick. You'll see it in just a second, unless it launches the game, which as of right now, I for some reason can't get it to launch. Oh, oh, no, I went right back to that message. Cool. That, that, that's awesome. Yeah. Like, literally, I've just been messing with it, trying to get it to work, but it doesn't want to work. But... I'm willing to bet it'll change in a few days or something. Or I just might just have to use my other SD card. But I don't know why it won't work. But like what I showed you, it worked the last time. And yeah. And you've seen me play it. So I've shown you everything that I uh, did the last time. But, as of right now, I don't know what the problem is. You might have different problems than I do. So, it might just work for you. Um, there's also another thing I didn't think of. Maybe uh, I have to connect it to my uh, computer to get to recognize... Well, that probably is not it. But, I'll mess around and I'll tell you guys, give you updates. But, um, as of right now, Android works, as you can see, just, I don't know if, you might just have this problem every once in a while, and it might just require a reboot, so I don't know, I'll mess with it, but now you know how to install it, please subscribe, um, please like, and um, have a really great day. Talk to you guys later.